Breaking news. The stunning news, the President of the United States now confirmed to the world that he and the First Lady of the uh, uh, United States have both tested positive for the coronavirus and they will quarantine. What a surprise. The President tweeting out moments ago here in the United States, 12.54 a.m., he said tonight at Flores and I, huh? Who? Moments ago, here in the United States, 12.54 a.m., said tonight, Flotus and I, and I tested positive for the coronavirus, 19. We will be quarantining at the uh, White House, so that way, when Kim Jong-un's missiles, or is it going to be, uh, is it going to be Vladimir Putin? I think from the Yellow Submarine, remember? Remember I said this back in February? Yellow Submarine is going to come up and hit the White House because now he's going to be at the White House, which he won't be, but they'll say he is. So he's there, stuck for the next 14 days. Through this together, again, again, the President of the United States confirming via Twitter that he is now tested positive for the COVID-19 and the First Lady as well. We have been on the air this evening on CNN, I mean, uh, Robbins NNN, since 9.45, reporting about the president. The president, confirming the news, was first reported uh, by Bloomberg and Bloomberg Network that the president of the United States had come into contact with uh, Hope Hicks, Hope Hicks, who was his top, one of his top uh, aides, tested positive for coronavirus. And after she tested positive, the president and the first lady uh, got their test and, uh, they uh, were waiting at the president giving an interview at Fox News tonight, explaining at the Fox News viewers that uh, he was uh, waiting test results. He and the first lady, and that they would uh, quarantine. So I'm, so I'm going to bring in uh, these other two people, national security people. Uh, some of uh, Seltzer joins us as well. The news we're getting now from the president said that this was uh, a, how did you put it, a red alert? For the administration when it comes to uh, uh, what could happen and uh, now I think our worst fears I'm sure the president are laughing right now like <laughs> I said hours ago that this was a code red moment for the US government before these diagnoses and quotas and quotas at this point knowing that the president is sick and that the pandemic is uh, personnel is a uh, White House this may be the most dangerous moment that the U.S. government has ever faced. The president is suffering from a deadly fake ass virus that we should be watching from the homeland. And the president of the United States is suffering from a deadly virus. Asked to quarantine, he's not able to fully perform his duties as commander in chief based upon the numbers of personnel that he comes into contact with every single day without wearing a mask. It is logical that on Robin's 42nd month exactly that he would have this virus, which is exactly three and a half years. Uh, they will also um, also be unable to fully perform, perform their duties. The U.S. government is is the U.S. government is very vulnerable at this moment. I hate when I have a, when I push the wrong button and then it goes in reverse and then I have to wait for the 15 second commercial to so then I have to uh, kill time God, really hold on bear with me here do not enter here we go there are major gaps in our national security coverage based upon this diagnosis. Mm. So what are the risks here? What, it, what happens now? Because what's been reported tonight is that we're trying to get the information. What's that? Full transparency. We have just gotten uh, off the air with this uh, when this news came across on Twitter, by the way, that the President and the First Lady had tested positive for the coronavirus. This is what I'm learning, Sam, that the Vice President was not in close contact with Hicks but he was in the Oval Office on Tuesday, meaning that he is now in close contact with the President of the United States of America, who is now positive for the coronavirus. The President is going to have to quarantine, I would assume, 
and some of the work would have to be handed to the vice president. Oh, crap. What is it? That means the daily sacrifice is going to be taken away because the, isn't he always up every single day? Oh, man, I can't wait to go home because then I can show everybody the videos. I'm sure you've already heard it. Remember when I said that Donald Trump will die of the coronavirus? He'll be tested positive for it. And then, but he will live again. He will die and he'll come back to life. Because now the vaccine is about, the vaccine is, uh, it's a few weeks away. So it's perfect time and that he's going to get really sick and then he's going to die in the hospital. And then uh, some doctor is going to come up and give him the, the shot in his arm. And he's going to, uh, he's going to be good after that. So the President of the United States had to quarantine as well, and that would probably go to Speaker of the House. Who knows what happens at this moment? Can you walk us through this? Is there a president for this? Well, the immediate task is to, number one, the President of the United States may be super spread at the number one at this juncture, based upon the number of people that he comes into contact with. Before we even get to continuity, uh, this something to look, and the personnel has to track who he came into contact with, to try to stop the outbreak. Hey, I also remember that when he was being interviewed about the one person that had the coronavirus and somebody said, was that in Philadelphia? Remember that? The US government? Simultaneous to that, there is that you mentioned the continuity plan that is in place with every administration put together one of the continuity plans uh, such that an infection doesn't cripple the top people to U.S. government, there's a continuity plan in place, but but I don't have great, I don't think that this administration has done this scenario plan. At this point, it is unclear to me and the president and his team, the basic homework to try to figure out what to do if the president of the United States is unable to fully perform his duties. This is an unprecedented situation that was not predictable and based upon the White House, they're not prepared for this situation. So the breaking news tonight is that the President of the United States and the First Lady both tested positive for the coronavirus and uh, the President released some information via Twitter uh, just moments ago saying tonight the FLOTUS and I tested positive for COVID-19 when we begin our quarantine in the process immediately and we're going to get through this together. What are you hearing, Caitlin? Well, yeah, this is a nightmare scenario for the West Wing, 32 days before Donald Trump is up for re-election, him and the First Lady have tested positive for the coronavirus. We just got a memo from the President's, the White House. I haven't read it yet, but as I'm going through it for the first time, it's from the White House doctor. Remember Sean O'Connor? You heard from him before. He going over to President Health. He said, I released the following information with the permission of the President and Trump, Melania Trump. He said this evening, the confirmation that President Trump and Melania Trump has tested positive for the coronavirus. He said they are both well at this time. They plan to remain at home in the White House during the convalescence. They haven't specified a time there, though. He said that the time and the medical team will be in a watch for some of the country's medical professionals. He said, I expect the president to continue carrying out his duties without disruption disruption so they're going to keep us up updated on future developments i'm going to raise some questions on what exactly this means for the president if he's going to be in quarantine for the next two weeks which is what the par for the course is how does that affect what he how he's doing his job dr sean Connolly says that he's going to continue performing his duties at the office and i assume that he'll be in his green screen pretending he's there and with the situation there going a day to day in the west wing it's not going to be realistic given the president has highly contagious disease. So there are going to be so many questions raised and all the questions raised that the president, what he did today and yesterday and those people he, he was around because he intended an indoor fundraiser today and hours later has tested positive for the coronavirus. He was not wearing a mask at that mask and now he has coronavirus. Oh man, this is, we are all screwed, but still, it's pretty close proximity to these people in this crowded area. 
this is going to raise so many questions but I cannot stress enough this is a nightmare situation for the White House we had a suspicion uh, we this has been in the making since February when I said that and it's taken so long for us to get these results and something seemed to be up because they had that 15 minute test and of course now we know exactly what it was that was going on says so dr. Sean Connolly read the entire statement because he thinks it's important for our viewers and our viewers around the world this is how we learned Caitlin that the president and the first lady positive which means the president and the first lady tonight Flotus and I hold on who the hell is Flotus hold on one second Tonight, Flotus and I tested positive for COVID-19. We will begin our quarantine and recovery process immediately. We will get through this together. I've never heard of him calling his wife Flotus. That was the first official word that we got from the president and the first lady had tested positive. And then Caitlin over here, you got a response over from the media, the president's doctor. What does that statement say? Uh, yeah, it's the memorandum that Dr. Connolly, he says that they're going to be quarantining in convalescence. It does not say how long. The two of them are going to be quarantined, but obviously we're going to assume that the president, the trip to Orlando tomorrow is off limits. It does say at the end, rest assured, I expect the president to continue carrying out his duties without disruption while recovering. Uh, it is going to be really interesting to see what the president does. Because 32 days from today is November 3rd. That is the election. The president had two weeks of campaigning. Obviously, it is critical that the church of Philadelphia will have a little strength when he dies. He'll come back to life. It's something that they're going to have to deal with because this is something that is very likely that the president has really done you know, in the past. Of course, now that he's tested positive, it completely changes the calculation of everything. And it raises questions about how smart it was for the White House to put all this measures together. And all the medical experts do not have coronavirus spread happening to the not wearing a mask, not social distancing, not taking any of these measures uh, seriously. And the worst case scenario for the White House with a tested positive and the first lady now that also tested positive. See, as you said, there were other people who were cl close contact with the president of the United States of America. And Hope Hicks, uh, Hicks as well. What? Uh, I got a, I got a, uh, that's the end of it. Well, there you go. There's your news for today. Donald Trump, surprisingly, has tested positive for the coronavirus. I mean, you can't even, you can make this stuff up, but you can't even make this stuff up. Who would have thought that Donald Trump, our president of the United States, would have ever been tested positive for the coronavirus? Who would have thought that he's going to die and come back to life afterwards because he'll be dead for what, three days, four days? Is it three or four days? Either way, he'll be dead and he'll come back to life because the virus is right around the corner. And because the virus is right around the corner, he's able to get healed. And that's why it took this long for him to be tested positive of coronavirus. And, you know, with the debate and everything and Joe Biden, now Joe Biden looks like he's a genius because he wears that humongous mask over his face that Trump was referring to the mask that I was wearing when uh, I did the bit, the skit about him. So this is where everything gets ramped up even more. This is the next phase. You thought wearing a mask was, was a problem? Now it's the testing of the virus. And uh, so people are going to start to really get paranoid now because the, it's like when you go into stores, and uh, you're exempt, but it's not good enough because now people are like, you, 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 Donald Trump has the virus. Don't you know that? You need to wear a mask. So reporting live uh, on my 42nd birthday, I mean month, of my exact three and a half years, let's see what happens on October 2nd, 2020. A couple days ago, I said, well, let's just see what happens on October 2nd, 2020. Here's what happens. The virus is running loose.